I cannot talk today. What's going on? <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey family, it's your girl Crystal, AKA Curly Chris. And in today's video, I am showing you guys my winter hair care routine slash regimen. Basically just what I do in the winter time to make sure that my hair stays protected, moisturized, try to avoid dry ends, split ends, single strand knots, all of that. So I'm gonna just be sharing that with you all today. And I have lots of tips in store, so Get the notepads ready, y'all, because I'm dropping all the tea today. And But before we get started, as always, if you have not joined the family, the Curly Chris family, I call all of my followers my family because the support that I receive from you guys truly does feel like a family. But if you have not joined the family already, then I'm going to need for you to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't know which side it's on. <laughs> but hit that button. Also, turn on your notifications. And I'm going to turn off my phone. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> but also, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, we have a new setup. What you guys think? What do you think? I think I just like the more lit look, the more open look, you know what I mean? Like it just feels, it looks more lit up and just, I think I like this look better. It looks like higher quality as well, which I like. So I think I'm liking this setup more. Let me know what you all think. Um, but yeah, so subscribe if you have not already done so. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. I don't wanna waste too much time talking cause y'all know I can do that a lot. <laughs> So as you all can see, I have braids in my hair right now because I wanted to get my hair a break. I went on vacation. However, this is a great tip and step and way to make sure your hair stays moisturized, um, especially during the winter time because you can easily like control the, like what state your hair is in and you can control like what your hair does. So like, look, oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. This is what not to have, what not to do, because see this right here, my ends are out, and that could cause breakage. I need to take these out of my head. Oh my God, this looks terrible. I ought to be ashamed, oh my gosh. Let's tuck that and hide that away. <laughs> What I like about braids, especially during the winter time, is that I don't have to manipulate my hair a lot. My hair is not exposed to the cold weather because if you may not know, cold weather really is harsh on anyone's hair. Um, just like, I mean, I guess you can think of it like if you go in a cold, it's harsh on your skin, right? Like some people make it like your skin gets drier, your skin needs more moisture, more lotion, more whatever, especially if you, if you have eczema. Who let me talk about it. But the point is your skin needs moisture. So it's the same thing with your hair. During the winter time, our hair needs moisture and more moisture than usual. So more than what we usually give it. So what I like to do for my hair is put them in some braids because that way I'm able to, you know, grease my scalp really, really well. My hair is not exposed to that air outside. So it's less exposure, which is great for my hair in the end. Um, also, while I have my braids in, it's very important to me that I still keep my scalp and hair moisturized. So what I like to use is the Main Choice Growth Oil. You guys saw on my Instagram that I love this oil. It's really, really good. Um, it's, it's really good for the scalp, just for moisturizing and just really like stimulating those follicles to promote hair growth. So that's exactly like what this is for. So I just easily put this on all the cracks and creases of my hair massage it on in and I'm good to go. But also on that same note, I can't forget about the rest of my hair. So the rest of my hair, I like to use this spray. It's a Cream of Nature Argan Oil Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. So it looks just like this. It is really, really good. Like every time I protect the style, I have to have this stuff, especially if I'm doing braids. So what I do is I shake it up and just spray it down the braids so it can get onto my hair. I should probably give a little spray to this bad boy right here because, oh, girl, this looks terrible. Oh my God. Oh, baby. So the next step is, of course, your wash day regimen, your wash day routine. So whenever it's winter time, I love to co-wash. 
more than shampoo. Mainly with a co-wash, um, I'm stripping my hair less. So, you know, whenever you don't wash your hair as much, you may get, like, like your hair may start to feel, like, weighed down or have a lot of oils in it. Well, some of those oils are actually good for your hair. So, I like to shampoo less and co-wash more. That way, I can still maintain and keep some of those oils that I will usually rinse out as soon as I saw them appear in my hair, like, during the summer. So, since my hair is going to be drier in the winter, I like to still keep some of that, um, that foundation, which is those AKA oils on my scalp just to make sure that everything is still moisturized. The co-wash, my favorite co-wash is the As I Am, uh, As I Am co-wash, the one that's in the brown container, the brown jar, and it's the best, y'all, and it's so affordable, like, I absolutely love it. So I like to co-wash more, and then after I co-wash, I still deep condition. So whenever I deep condition, I like to use either my thermal hair, my thermal head cap, or I sit underneath my hooded dryer, or I just stay in the shower longer and let that steam stimulate my hair. Either way, whichever way I'm going, I tend to still do it for about 30 minutes. Unless I'm in the shower, I'm not sitting in the shower for 30 minutes at all. I usually just wash, uh, I usually just like wash my body during that time and then just go ahead and rinse it out with some warm water. So that will be like the most important step though, guys, because that's the step that you're gonna be doing every single week. So you're washing your hair weekly. So while you're washing your hair weekly, you wanna make sure that you're actually having a solid routine that's going to benefit and help your hair. And also, if you don't have a plastic cap, go ahead and grab your plastic bag from the grocery store. It's gonna serve the same purposes, I promise you. It's gonna work, okay? <laughs> We in the house, nobody looking at us, just, just us. And if your husband can't take it, then baby, he ain't yours. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't listen to me, I'm single. <laughs> All right, so the next step that I like to do in the winter time is to make sure that I am sleeping and tying my hair up with satin, something satin. So the satin pillowcase that I have is this one right here. I will leave the name of where, I, where the person who sent this to me. Um, in the description box, I also have a code for this company so you can get some money off. But y'all, like, this is how you know if it's something satin. The way it feels, the way it looks, like the shine on it, and also look at the tag on the actual product to see if you're having satin and not just some type of other fabric. So you wanna get a something satin to sleep on because this is really going to protect your ends of your hair, the split ends, the single strand knots, everything. So if you're not tying your hair up at night or if you don't like to tie your hair up at night or if you can't, then make sure you at least keep this on your bed. And if I am tying my hair up for whichever reason, by being natural, we don't really tie our hair up. We usually just like slip on a bonnet. But if I am, then I use my satin scarf. Some satin, just very simple. If you do put it on a bonnet, then come here, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Make sure it's satin. Satin saves our lives. Okay. So the next step that I'm gonna be showing, oops, I'm showing the goods. So whenever you are protective styling or if you ever just like put your hair in some twists or some braids, you don't really want to just go outside and just like walk. You kind of want to make sure your hair is protected. So you put on that satin while it's cold outside, put on that satin, whatever, bonnet or scarf, and then get something cute, like a little, like a little, something like this, a little wrap, wrap your hair on up. It works. So you still be cute while you're going outside. I do it all the time and people, I get so many compliments. I'm like, child, if only you saw what was underneath here, okay? <laughs> Girl. All right, so my next tip for you lovely people is to make sure that you are drinking your H2O. Guys, we should drink water all, all year round, right? But especially in the winter time, you wanna drink some H2O, guys, because that's really going to help your hair flourish, not be dry. If you notice, when you don't drink a lot of water, your hair is literally dry, like, or it feels more dry. It doesn't retain the moisture as much. You need to drink water. Water is really a key ingredient to making sure that everything on us thrives. If you don't like plain water, add some lemon in it. I add lemon juice to my water all the time and it works wonders. So drink your water, drink your water, mind your business. Hashtag 2019 everything, okay? All right, so my next tip is to do a lot more twist outs and braid outs versus wash and goes. 
Now I'm gonna tell you why I say this. Your ends are more exposed when you're doing a wash and go because they never have that moment of them being twisted up or braided down. So I like to do, this is just me, I like to do twist outs more because whenever I go outside and I have wet hair, especially when it's cold outside, it just doesn't feel good to me. I don't like that at all. So I try to prevent that. So I like to do a lot of more twist outs and braid outs. And also my ends are more clumped together and protected whenever I do those styles. So it still is a hashtag like protective style, quote unquote. And I also like to just keep my twist in for a few days and just rock them bad boys by themselves because once again, I'm still protecting my hair and most importantly, my ends. All right, so my next tip is to make sure that you are getting your trim. So before the winter season enters or during the winter season, you wanna make sure you get a good trim so your hair can start off, start off fresh. I cannot talk today, what's going on? You wanna make sure that you are trimming your ends so you can have a fresh start for the winter. And whenever you don't have good trimmed ends, any little thing that gets to it will cause a single strand knot, will cause dryness, will cause frizziness, will cause, will cause breakage. So you really want to prevent that to the best extent as possible. I love to do twist outs and keep my twists in and braid outs and protective styles like the twist, the flat twist styles. And the good thing about doing a flat twist style is you can literally see the moisture in your hair once you take that down. And whenever I say a flat twist style, I'll go ahead and link a video that I have. It was like one of my first times where I did a flat twist style on my YouTube and I recorded it. It's a very old video, but it's still like, I still do that same routine today. So what I like about that is that I can tuck my ends. So I tuck my ends under my hair so literally none of my ends are exposed out nothing. So that way my ends cannot break. They're not exposed to breakage at all. And I kind of think that that's kind of like all the tips that I have, honestly. Um, that's kind of just what I like to do whenever it's like the winter time. I really just like to stick to that to that routine. I like to make sure my wash days stay consistent with the routine as far as like how I'm shampooing or co-washing and then deep conditioning. So I hope those tips did help you guys out a little bit and I hope we all have the best winter and I'm wishing you nothing but growth, strength, moisture, juiciness, elongation, elongated hair, long, I don't know, but I'm just wishing you everything positive, okay? PVA, no. PVO, positive vibes only. <laughs> What is my life? <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this channel and to this video. If you have not subscribed, I hope by now you have. And if you are subscribed, turn on those notifications. Also, follow me on my Instagram at CurlyChris. As always, that's where I post a lot of my stuff first, then here onto YouTube. But thank you all so much for watching this video. And also, let me know if you're liking my setup. Let me know if you're feeling it, girl, because I feel like I am. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will most definitely see you all in my next video. But while you're here, you might as well go ahead and just watch the next video. Just click it. <laughs>